Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a short uh, video on uh, Hypercam, uh, which is a screen capture software. I used to use this software, uh, but I've decided to make a video on it now because it's now available free for uh, private and commercial use worldwide, which is fantastic news. Um, you can get it from the website uh, at www.hyperionics.com. Click on that link takes you to the uh, site and um, you, you want to look for Hypercam which is this one, click on that and then you can see the um, version 2.27.00 is now available for download Hypercam version 2, a product of Hyperionics is now offered world free for worldwide users both for private use and commercially that's fantastic uh, it's actually for um, uh, capturing Windows screen okay it says there so it's really for Windows and I've got it on my Windows XP machine and it works fine if you click on this link um, this version is instantly available um, uh, when I made I made this video on the 19th June 2012 and I downloaded it yesterday because I had the old version and I wanted to upgrade it and I couldn't do it so a uh, long story short, I ended up uh, getting it, downloading it today. Click on that. Uh, you can see it's the 32 build, 2.27 from server 1 or 2. If you click on this, you get a small file which is 154 kilobytes. Uh, you download that, and it looks like um, a HC2 setup file, which is a hypercam file. If it's HC7, uh, that's the HyperSnap, so be, be wary of that. Uh, it's the HyperCam you want. Um, if you look at here, it says 64-bit HyperCam version 2 for XP, Windows, Vista, Windows 7, 64-bit machines. Um, I've got a 32-bit machine, so I have to uh, download it from there. Uh, so you can either do it from, from this link here, server 1, or from this one here um, and it downloads the file as you can see a small file what you do is you um, you uh, <coughs> when you run it it hooks up to the hypercams service and um, installs the program on the fly and um, what what you've got to remember is it uh, I, I tend to whenever I install products they uh, 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 add toolbars to them and <coughs> and you know, force you to use the recommended which is your choice but um, I untick the recommended setting and go for the custom setting or the other setting where it says un you, you have a choice to untick the toolbars if you don't want these installed uh, then you go through the usual uh, terms and conditions which you accept uh, but um, because this is free now you won't get the unregistered copy anymore so that's fantastic um, I'll go talk you through, once you've set it up, you run it and um, I'll talk you through the settings which I've actually um, uh, made images of <coughs> of the um, tabs. So on the screen area I've set mine to 640 and 360 and left everything as it is. The, that's the select window area so just type in 640 and 680 so that's the U YouTube standard. The bigger the screen, obviously, it's going to use more memory. But this software is pretty good uh, if you do it for 10 minute videos. Um, to start the recording, you in the next key, th there's the hot keys. To start the recording, you press F2. To stop the recording, you press F2. That's all you need to remember. And to pan, you hold the shift key and the control key, and then you can move the cursor around and it pans and that's all you can remember and leave it as it is you can play experiment and test it test it the software as you wish but for this purpose uh, leave that as it is uh, then the next window is the AVI file so you can tell it where you want the video files to uh, to end up once you've uh, finished recording uh, there's a default setting which goes to your my documents but I'll put it in that folder leave everything as is as it is shown there um, the next is the sound. Uh, again, leave the settings default as they are. I haven't touched them. And the next uh, tab is the options. Um, 
the default is record cursor and the setting here is 6 for the star size but I've ticked the uh, add star bar first to the movie when the mouse is clicked and then change this 6 to 16 so you got a bigger um, you know if I do that it, it gives you a bigger click and um, area and then I've added the sound which I move the cursor from this one tab to the second tab here in between and that's fine and it doesn't overpower the video either, uh, my sound either uh, again you can test that yourself uh, finally the <coughs> license uh, excuse me uh, tab um, in the old versions when you upgrade uh, if you had the old one which, is, which was a paid version if it wasn't registered once you register you uh, and you obviously paid to register then you get your name here and the license never expires but when you upgrade it the name re remains the same and it still shows never and you can install it over the existing uh, product without uninstalling it uh, which is what I've done but if you do it from uh, fresh uh, on your machine uh, if it's a Windows XP machine you just run it and you get the version here and it says here this copy of Hypercam is licensed to worldwide usage free and the license never expires which is fantastic right then what you do is you once you make the video um, which is what I'm doing at the moment you get a, a, the AVI file here and it's uh, as you can see it's almost 120 uh, me megabytes and you want to make a flash video file and if you look at my hypercam studio cam studio uh, videos you'll see that if you go to um, Google and type in free studio uh, here we go free studio you, you take it to this link www.dvideosoft.com free click on that and you're taken to their site which is that one and then there's free studios 47 freeware the one you want is free web m video recorder you can install all of them the choice is yours they're free or which is what i've done and then select the web m video recorder or you individually download this one and from time to time they update them a um, couple of the youtube ones and then if you've got the whole thing then you have to up update your um, old uh, software uh, once you've got the webm installed uh, as usual uh, it looks like this and you add your video file which is the AVI file as I've indicated there add it by clicking that and then select the quality and I found flash video the best for this hypercam and for mp4 which was the uh, cam studio one but anyway we're talking about hypercam and you select normal quality 640 360 and you can do it from here as you can see normal quality and then click convert this button and it starts converting the video and that's that's it um, enjoy making videos with this you can test it out and compare which one you prefer and then the flash video then when, when it's finished you can upload to YouTube and you can see the results with this uh, video when it's on YouTube uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now